you know that fall is coming or is here because these things are everywhere. Disgusting. Hi guys, I'm back today um, because I am going to work with blue a little bit today. And so I figured I would um, record it and see what happens. Just tied her up over here at the tree and she's going to walk around because she's bored and doesn't want to stand there. So I'm going to leave her stand there a little bit. Um, and I just want to do some groundwork with her today um, because I've been tying her out um, to start kind of just building her patience, standing tied, being away from her friends. And today I want to see what she can do, I guess, just see what groundwork she knows. I don't honestly know if she knows how to lunge or anything. Um, so I'm just going to kind of experiment today and possibly teach her how to lunge if she doesn't know how. But um, yeah, because I do want to start riding her. And I've got some time this morning, so like, yeah, we'll just get her out and I mean, I'm going to let her stand there for a little bit, but I'll come back in a little while and we'll start. Okay, you're going to behave? Oh. Can I brush you off? Can I jump on you? Will you be a brat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. 
in your face. Yeah, you're gonna have to stop though. <laughs> what a good pony. <laughs> okay guys, that was like a total of like 10 minutes, but I'm so happy with how she did. She actually did really good. Um, yeah, she lunged both ways really well, as you can see. She, um, she's always a little bit more like squirmish, I guess, on her blind side naturally, um, but she lunged really well that way, so I was impressed. Um, and then I didn't really intend to hop on her today, um, but yeah, she didn't even flinch, so that's awesome. She's been sitting around here for like all summer because I just haven't had a whole lot of lesson kids this year, but it's definitely nice to know that if I need to just pull her out and hop on her, she's not gonna like buck or anything. And I'm big for her, so like she obviously won't carry me around all the time but we are going to a show this weekend on Saturday so I do want to take her and I don't know if I will ride her in any classes or anything but I do just want to take her to the shows I took her to one earlier this year and um she did really well at that show so um I don't think it'll be an issue but it's always good to just have her as a backup and have her like ride ready just in case like sugar goes lame or you know, BB goes lame or just whatever. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll ride her in a couple things. I do need to look for a bridle for her. Um, I have a pony sized one from Chloe. So it's been a long time since it's been used, but I'll have to dig it out and see if I still have it. I'm sure it will fit her. Cause it was like big for Chloe and Chloe was little, but, um, just to have something that I could throw on her if we need to bring it, so yeah. Also, I think I told you guys, I did start her on the Mare Magic and the last week or so, maybe she just came out of heat, but the last week or so, it actually really seems to be helping. So after I get her out or do something with her, I just give her a little bit of oats and then I just sprinkle some water in it and then put the mirror magic in there so it's like all sticks together and i think it's helping like the squealing and the mayor sounds have really gone down um so that's a good thing um and then okay so my last video you guys saw me bring home red and i don't know if that's gonna be his name forever that's just what i've been calling him um but I went, actually in that video, you guys saw me scratching him and stuff and switching out his halter. The very next day, I got a ringworm on my finger. The next morning, it started itching. And yeah, so there's a ringworm there. It kind of spread. There's a little one like in between my finger here. And then there's one on this hand 
in between my fingers, but actually I'm gonna go spray some stuff on it because I keep forgetting to do that. But yeah, literally the next morning. So I'm glad he's in his own quarantine pen and stuff. And this morning I went in with him because like he had slipped his halter over one of the ears. And so I needed to just put it back. And so I was just like scratching his neck, like letting him warm up to me. And he was like, he loved it. So I can tell he's itchy. And so um, I'm hopefully gonna get some shampoo for him and get him a bath. But I was looking, okay. There's like nothing you can get for ringworm except for like prescription meds. So I bought like some athlete's foot, like antifungal cream that I've been putting on it. Oh my God, my dog's playing with her jolly ball. <laughs> and then I was actually at the store looking for the, the shampoo and I never realized that blue coat is a fungicide. So I've been spraying it on there like that, making a huge mess. And then there's some in between this finger. So yeah, I've been doing that. Hopefully it will go away. It hasn't seemed to spread anywhere else, but um, I would put this on him, but I don't know if it's like on his entire body, you know? It probably is all over his body. So I'm not gonna spray an entire can of blue coat all over him. But uh, yeah, we'll see. See, now it's like starting to get irritated and kind of hurt. So yeah, hmm. that's really cool. But I've been looking for that. Um, I used the mane and tail like medicated shampoo and the store here didn't have any last time I was there. So I'm on the hunt for some. Melanie's supposed to be seeing if the store in her town has any. So cross my fingers, I find some so we can give him a bath and get him feeling better. All right, guys, today I am giving Red a bath. Um, and we're just gonna see how this goes. I have no idea if he's ever had a bath in his life. So I have no clue if he's gonna be terrified of the hose or not. Um, but it's really kind of like a necessity. Like he has to have a bath. He's got that ringworm and stuff all over him and like it we need to wash and scrub um just his whole body so he needs to have a bath i got this at the store the other day this medicated um mane and tail shampoo that says it treats ringworm so we're gonna see how it goes um but yeah he just really needs to have it done and uh so we're gonna just gonna try to get it done and see what happens. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get him out and set up my camera. All right, guys. Took him a minute to work up the courage to walk out of the gate, but let's not run into it though, please. Might have to tie him a little tighter. Okay guys, so while I'm doing this, I am just spraying the hose starting at his front feet and then I'm slowly working my way up his shoulder and up to his back and every time he stands still and lets me spray him, I spray him a little bit and then I back off and I give him a break like I'm doing here 
And that's kind of my pressure and release. So every time he does what I want, which is stand there, then I release the pressure and I leave him alone for a few seconds. And then I do it again, and then I leave him alone, and then I do it again until I can get his whole body wet. And when I moved over to this side, he did get a little bit sick of me and started squirming all over the place. And I just kind of kept the pressure on. I kept spraying him until he held still and then I quit. So once I got him all wet, I went in with the shampoo and started scrubbing again. The, his biggest area was like his hips back. He just doesn't really like being sprayed on his butt, but we got him, we got him wet. Okay, I've got him scrubbed in shampoo and I'm just gonna leave it sit on him for a few minutes so it can really get into his skin. And I'm gonna go find a pair of scissors so I can cut that big glob out of his tail. All right guys, I got the tail log off. <laughs> I didn't wanna bore you with 18 hours of footage, but it, it really didn't take me that long, but I got it off. So hopefully that feels a lot better for him. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse him now and then put on some wound spray. Okay, ready? All right, that's a wrap for his bath. Um, so I'm gonna get him some hay and oats as a little reward and put him back in his pen. All right, big guy got his reward for the day. Um, he is like half purple because I slathered a bunch of that blue coat all over him because it says it kills ringworm. So, so yeah. Hopefully that will get some of that nasty grime off of him and kill some of that ringworm so he's not so itchy. And, you know, then I can bring Chance back over here. When I don't think he has any ringworm anymore, then I'll bring Chance back over here. He doesn't really seem like he's got any illnesses or like he doesn't seem sick or anything. So yeah, but I do want that ringworm gone. All right, guys, that is gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Red get a little bit of a spa day. 
Um, he is just chillaxing in the sun now, drying off. So yeah, hopefully he feels a little bit better, feels a little refreshed. And hopefully that blue coat on top of that shampoo really helps kill off that ringworm. So he isn't so itchy. Our next order of business is going to be working on those feet. Um, I need to make sure he knows how to pick them up before um, trying to trim them. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates on him and the other horses and some shows. We're going to be hitting a couple of shows this month. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys later.